Greetings all of you, the good tonight here, and today, it, well, it's Christmas. It's the end of the year, end of 2019, for the most part. So, Merry Christmas from me to you, and welcome to our end of the year video. We're going to be doing a lot of gear reviewing, more or less what we've come to up to this point, and talk about a lot of the new things we got. So, first and foremost, we got our OpsCore lid. So we are mostly working with a uh, Cry airframe, which is a very aesthetically pleasing helmet, but... Ultimately, you can do a lot more with a Maritime, which is probably why it's the preferred helmet. So, cool thing we got there. Got our Swordens, keeping our hearing protected. Got our general ESS goggles, so we can nerd out real hard. Although it's mostly going to be for keeping your eyes safe. And we're going to be using them for full sail airsoft, along with our little mask. But even in a more realistic environment, these are still good to have. Although, little shooting glasses would be preferred. But these are generally mounted to your helmet, so they're not going anywhere. Easy to keep a hold of, although they do have a lot of glare if you're not using them, so... Things to consider. So, are your pros good? Helmet's pretty good. Let's pop this off here real quick. Uh, we want to add a mohawk to the back, so we have some battery and counterweight for our night vision. And if nothing else, as a counterweight for the GoPro that we'll be running. So, we got all that cool stuff going there. I really love the aesthetics of the helmet, but... Uh, yeah, so plate carrier has been up here. It's still got the SPC going here. It's a replacement to our JPC. It's got the structural support that makes it a lot comfier. We got the generic um, little uh, plate covers in there. They work. They work well enough. They help blend in the plate. These ones are Ranger Green, and they blend in very well with the Ranger Green Christ. I'm not a very flexible person, don't judge me. But we got our Marpat frog shirt. I've had this for ever. Almost never really wore it, but uh, I'm in a pretty good mood today, so here we are. And actually, I do really like the camo pattern for Marpat. Although I didn't wear it for a long time after I got out of the military because it reminded me of being made more or less a uh, public servant, so. We're wearing it now, though, because I like the looks of it and it's aesthetically pleasing, so one of the cool things we got going on there. Also, my buddy was playing Escape from Tarkov. And I saw the green trousers and the ACUs, and was like, you can mix them, but it'd look a lot better with a superior camo pattern. Also, don't look over there. Just don't do it. So, we got our, attached to that, we've got our um, Spiritus Microflight Mark IV, which has our three extra mags. I have found nothing to really use for this um, pouch except a notebook, and we got our extra little mag pouches here that are just holding our shears. Although they're not doing a very good job. I need to get some uh, little Velcro in there to help hold them down a bit better, keep them from flying all over the place, because right now they just fly right out. And that is no bueno. Multicultural, Mr. Worldwide. So, on the back we got um, just a few patches, because why the hell not? But also you can see that's where the um, cover works it really well. SPC really pushing up that back plate, keeping our uh, spine protected, and uh, us out of the wheelchair. So. Neat stuff. The breathability is pretty good. It's actually kind of hot in here. It is insanely warm for uh, December, but that's just Okinawa, so... What do we got going? We got our sidearm, Glock 19. Absolutely love this thing. It's tiny, it's compact, and it's got... Well, it's got Tokyo Maduri Magic. That's the key. But the real ones are also pretty good. If I was to make any modifications, there's not a whole lot I'd want to do to it. It's really, like, stock and exactly how I like it. The grip and everything works out. I'd probably swap out the sights, or put an RMR on there. Although swapping out the sights with the, um, was it a little filament fibers, put red on front, green in the back, so you could pick up low light for night use, that'd be pretty Gucci. But other than that, I mean, it's pretty much a fantastic firearm, especially compared to its realistic counterpart. Although the distance isn't really the same for our capability, so... Doge patch, possibly the most important part of the entire kit, we got for my good buddy Mythic. And yeah, so everything's looking pretty Gucci up there. One of the biggest upgrades we've got is the Ronin Task Force belt, which is down here under the MDOM. We fill the MDOM up with medical supplies to help take some of the load off of the uh, burrito, if not swap out the burrito entirely. But it's always good. A little bit of redundancy never hurt. We got a few basic bandages and boo boo patches up in here, so really a small first aid equipment and your uh, I don't want to die today trauma kit. So, good stuff to have. Handguns here. We don't have our shiv mounted on here for a variety of legal reasons. 
Got the standard setup, two pistol mags, one rifle mag on the uh, quick, obviously quick slot, but we're not playing Vigia, so. Uh, quick mag, so that's good to have. And we got a little M81 dump pouch, so. We'll try to get a pair of M81 Cries here in the near future, so this dump pouch actually works out pretty well. And yeah, that will be pretty cool. So, all that taken care of. We still have our primary blaster, our Mark 18. It's got the minimalist stock. The minimalist stock is pretty fantastic. Although we do need to put the braided 550 cord through here so it doesn't, you know, have all these counter encounter all these problems with the sling. Daniel Defense uh, rail, pretty cool there, legit. Makes the weapon very useful. We got a little light. And yeah, we got our Bushnell on here right now. We're going to be swapping that out with an Elkan in the near future and at some point a Voodoo. So, cool things to have. Um, on top of all that, we have our ever important breacher. All the shells mounted to the shotgun. Six BBs per shot. Makes it very hard for people to outrun you with a note, uh, outrun your overwatches. It makes it very small and compact, very easy to get into buildings, to get around stuff, and do pop, pop, pop work. So, fantastic little gun. We haven't had a chance to run it yet, but I'm looking forward to it. I can assure you of that. And the newest addition that we have to our gun thing is our light machine gun. So, Stoner LMG. Fantastic, fantastic machine gun. About 10 pounds, much, much lighter than the Weepies Lambs Mark 46. Though his is AMK, this is Classic Army, and I can more or less take a guess that the internals are going to be terrible. However, it looks fantastic. It's pretty cool looking. I had to time down everything. There's still a lot of things loose, relatively loose in there, and a lot of work that needs to be done, and we have a review coming up on this later, so stand by for that. Should be pretty exciting. And last but not least, our last piece of kit is an insanely heavy tank combat so statement pack. Three extra mags, a bunch of random stuff, and our hydro. All mounted on the one pack. We got the standard, um, what should we call it? The standard, uh, straps on here right now, but we'll be looking into getting the, um, uh, who makes it? Twin Needle. Twin Needle makes the ones that got the quick release strap at the bottom. Now I personally think those ones are a bit better. Unfortunately, I sold them with the mini map pack. And we're gonna have to get new ones, and they've been out of stock. But when we do get new ones, this is a lot, gonna be a lot easier to wear. Now, this is heavy and, com and I'm not necessarily the most comfortable pack in the world, but it does wonders. So, unfortunately, phone battery or the camera battery is dying, but I want to tell all of you guys, you're awesome. And that's more or less it. Merry Christmas, stay chivalrous, and uh, don't do crime or you know don't get caught. So, cheers everyone. See you in the next video.